What's going on guys, my name is Gregginson. Today we're gonna to be talking about your deals of the week. This is all happening at Steam, Uplay, Humble Bundle, GOG, and Fanatical. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. First off, we have Shower with your Dad Simulator. This game is always on sale. It's going on until March 22nd and it is only 69 cents. Uh, this game's kind of old, 2015. So I mean, you know, if you just wanna waste some time on a really silly game, uh, pick this one up if you didn't hear about it when it came out that you're not missing out on much It's just a little thing that you run around try and find your dad, you know, not, nothing too much Next up is uncraft world. This is uh, what I consider the degenerate game of the week Only because I know this game from a really weird uh, Knowledge of old Xbox live indie games if you remember the indie program people would just like upload these really weird games a lot of them were also just like really sexual for some reason. So Uncraft World is a sequel to Uncraft Me, I think it was or something like that. Uh, Uncraft World is like an early access sequel. It's only $5, it's kind, kind of a lot for what it is. You jump around and do these weird puzzles and your goal is to unfreeze these girls or unblock them. I don't know, it's, it's weird. There's a level editor. There's, there's skins, and there's even workshop integration. So, I mean, I guess this game is just playable forever, and maybe people can upload their own girls. I don't know. It, I just found this, thought it might be a little interesting. Now, what you're really here for, probably, the Ubisoft sale. Uh, this is happening both on Steam and Uplay. So, uh, definitely check out both if you like to have your games on Uplay for some reason. So, the first Ubisoft game is South Park Stick of Truth. This game's kind of fun, in my opinion, it was made by Obsidian Entertainment, it was a solid RPG when it released back in 2014, it's based in the South Park universe, you play as the new kid on the street in the town, and you go around causing mayhem in this weird little town, even though you're just kind of playing dress up, everything's just way too real, that's how it is in the South Park universe. You get some cool powers, you can dress up all kinds of ways, and there's a couple of collectibles. While you're not going to be getting like hundreds of hours out of this game, you're definitely going to feel pretty decent after playing it. You're going to spend maybe 20 hours in it. Who knows? But for $7.49, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. Definitely worth it. Now the other Ubisoft game, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. I'm not a big fan of the Far Cry formula, but I think Blood Dragon really mixes things up. It's over the top. It's crazy. The weapons you get are absolutely massive and blow things up it's so over the top 80s it's and you feel like a god when you play it's like an 80s action movie but cranked up to 15. i definitely recommend picking this one up if you're into the far cry formula or if you really just want to try out something new that's a little bit more open world i can't play any other far cry game but i definitely would recommend you pick this one up it's only six dollars now on Humble Bundle, there are a bunch of sales going on right now. We got the Rockstar sale, we got Codemasters, which isn't happening for too much longer, and a bunch of other random little things here and there, but there are two games from here that I recommend you pick up. First off is Overlord. This is only $1.24, so I mean, really cheap. You're not missing out on too much if you uh, buy it and just aren't into it, but you're the bad guy. You're the guy who is leading all the minions, and you're telling them to just go kill other weird minions or kill the good guys it's really fun uh, this is kind of like if there was a third person action type game in the vein of dungeon keeper where you are the bad guy or dungeons which i personally recommend dollar 24 you know what you just just pick it up already now we got Bully Scholarship Edition. This is also available on Fanatical, so that's really great in my opinion. Some other Rockstar stuff is happening at Fanatical, but I definitely have to recommend Bully. If you haven't tried Bully out, the Scholarship Edition, it's kind of like a remastered version of the original Bully that came out during the PlayStation 2 era, and it's a fun game. If you like that Rockstar formula of just like kind of open world and you do all kinds of weird stuff in a city, Think of that, but you're some weird, overweight, white bully who beats people up to get his way through this private school that he got sent to for some reason. $5.24, not the 
cheapest price ever but i mean if you just want to try something new that i haven't seen done in a while pick it up now as we move on over to gog there's a couple of smaller games a couple that i would definitely recommend wholeheartedly first off day of the tentacle remastered i played through this game in about a day four hours with a walkthrough it will take you so much longer if you don't and that's okay but five dollars 99 cents it's a point and click adventure from the golden days of uh, the Sierra type games, the LucasArts, this is a LucasArts game. Double Finds did remaster it, and you can play in either the remastered graphics, older graphics, the new music, the old music. It's a fun game. There's the time travel elements where you have to switch items to solve puzzles between three different characters in the past, present, and future. I think the comedy is really on point, especially for that like mid-90s feel. And if you really just want to waste a lot of time, I think it's perfect. Next up, Brutal Legend. This game is a mixed game for most people, at least by the end of it. But it's only $3.74. You know what? I'm going to come out and say this is probably the most metal game you'll ever play. You're doing like hardcore rock songs and you're killing people with your axe guitar type thing. You get like special powers. It's insane. Jack Black is the protagonist, and that dude's pretty metal. While the game does kind of turn into a weird RTS at the end, I haven't played in too much of that. So, I mean, if you stick to the first part of the game, you'll be fine. You'll love the third-person action. Last but not least, Psychonauts, $2.49. It's a pretty solid uh, 3D platformer that we saw have its height in like the late 90s, early 2000s. You get new powers using your mind and stuff. You get to beat up enemies. There's a lot of collectibles to be found in the game. The characters are all really quirky and sometimes I get a little scared playing it, but that's all right. Overall, I think if you're looking for a platformer that's a little bit out there, just a little weird, uh, pick this one up. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it is mine. It's a solid 3D platformer, in my opinion. I love the characters, I love the story, I love the environments. And while it does look a little dated, that's all right. So that is it for this week. If you guys have any sales in all these places that you think I should have mentioned, link them down in the comment section below. Just tell me about them, what the price is. Maybe I'll add them to the description. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this content. It'll be right up there in the corner. Check out one of the videos on the side as well. That'll be one. I recommend to you one youtube recommends to you check out all the links down below for all the games that i mentioned and all the sales and everything else i do on the internet my name is gregginson i'm out